Michael Messiah of Morning Talk Radio, your favorite morning ho host. It's Adam J. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. My name is Adam Josh, aka the Maple Messiah. I'm here on this uh, emergency broadcast transmission located in Niagara, Ontario, Canada, and I thought that uh, we should do an update since the last morning banana show where I was on number 75 discussing the coronavirus. And uh, I'm on record back then, two weeks ago, before a lot of people were saying that things were going to get worse, I said very clearly, things are going to get worse. And uh, so a lot has happened in two weeks. You can go back and watch that uh, last morning banana show that I had done to see exactly what my opinion was. But uh, I know that those of you who watching me, uh, who watched the morning banana show won't be surprised by the things I was saying. I'm checking the live streams right now. So far, it's looked so good. Uh, we're listening to... This was a song, uh, a song by Yours Truly, recorded back in uh, years ago. Years ago. Anyway, go to adamjosh.com. You can find my music. Got a coffee ready. And um, we're going to jump right to it because when my friend, who's scheduled on the show today, you can follow him on Twitter... Bookish Neptune, Civilian X. When him and I talk, we have this problem of neither of us want to stop talking. And I hope that you can find people like that in your life that, uh, you know, you get along with. So it's like when Desiree and I talk, we just kind of stay up chatting all night. And uh, Civilian X is, is no exception. Full disclosure. Full disclosure. <coughs> I'm on day four of having a slight cough. Now, four days ago, I noticed that I had a slight cough, I had some phlegm, and uh, we're on day four right now. Uh, about two weeks ago, two weeks ago, one of my kids, Tyler, had uh, had a slight cough and then some snot, and this is before school was shut down. So uh, he passed it off to, uh, you know, Desiree, and then Desiree gave it to me, and I think Caden, our nine-year-old, is the only one who avoided it. But uh, none of us have any lung problems. But anyway, like regardless, we are all self-quarantined anyway. The most uh, outdoor activity that I get is going to my shop here and uh, driving around in the car. We, we're personally, we're we're pretty stocked up. I mean, um, don't come and try to rob us because we will execute you on site. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too worried about uh, uh, food and whatnot uh, and toilet paper. <laughs> Funny. All right, so uh, there's a lot to talk about, a lot to jump into. Uh, we got 203,529 confirmed coronavirus or COVID-19 cases across the world right now, uh, claiming since day one 8,205 lives and allegedly 82,107 people have recovered. A lot has happened here in Niagara since last we talked. My kid's school was shut down until April 7th, and uh, believe me, I said in the last video, if you watch number 75, I wasn't too excited about having the kids in school anyway. Uh, across, across the road here, uh, there's not much going on, and uh, uh, like across the road uh, from our, our business down there, uh, the restaurant, there's, I'm trying not to name any names. And it's hard, so just bear with me here. Things are quiet is what I'm getting at. <clears throat> Things are getting quiet. And uh, I notice when I, as I drive into work, there's not a lot of, lot of uh, traffic. There's daycares that are closed. And who wants to have their um, kids at a daycare anyway? Not me. And so I was saying in the beginning uh, two weeks ago, that I wasn't too excited about having the kids uh, in, in school. So when the school got shut down, schools are shut down, I think, all pretty much almost all over the world right now. I have a friend in Holland who told me his kids are out of school as well until April 7th. In Ontario, we've been given 
notices about the restaurants that uh, they are to be takeout only. There's a lot we can talk about. I mean, I could show you guys pictures of what's going on at the restaurant now. Up until like this moment, it's right. It's like an aisle. You walk in and all the restaurant seating area is blocked off. You take your food and leave. On my way here today, I noticed a few things. I passed a couple Tim Hortons and all the seats are up on the tables here in southern Ontario. And what that means is that uh, you can go through the drive through you can go into the Tim Hortons, but you can't uh, sit there. Same at Starbucks, I think they removed the seats. And so the, the restaurants in, in Ontario were given an order. Uh, we, uh, we were talking about this last night, Civilian X and I. What is it? Is it a new policy? Is it an order? Is it an ultimatum? Is it a memorandum from the World Health Organization? Like, who controls us right now? Uh, and apparently these are orders being issued, at least in California. And he can tell you a little bit more about uh, his experience with people in California when I get him on the phone. But uh, there's just so much we can talk about. I have a lot myself that we could, we could discuss. Uh, but I wanted to bring everybody who watches the Morning Banana Show up to date because I do... People out there are snowing you. People out there are giving you nonsense and they're trying to sell things to you. You guys know that I don't sell anything. Uh, I used to have some flat earth bumper stickers. I mean, <laughs> I, would, I would sell them. Don't get me wrong. I still have them. But uh, I don't, I've sold maybe two or three of them. It's not a big deal. I, I don't do that for money. And uh, Desiree and I are fortunate that she's already transitioned into a business where she has been working from home. So uh, we're very fortunate in the sense that um, we have been preparing for times like this quietly. And uh, there's nothing that you can do to really prepare you for when like the, <laughs> the schools close. But uh, the kids are at home and Desiree is at home and things up until now have been relatively okay. Uh, all of us being a little bit sick with the cough, you know, was kind of irritating, but um, we were all pretty convinced that it's just a cough. So um, without further ado, I'm going to give Civilian X a call and we'll catch up on a few things. Uh, I'd like to talk with him about uh, a variety of topics. One would be the closures, what is closed around um, around his part of the United States, uh, schools, restaurants, businesses, um, who is issuing these edicts or these orders, uh, what's going to happen if we disobey them, that type of thing. And, uh, and one thing that I would like to chat with him about as well is the Q phenomenon because I'm getting private messages asking me about what do I think about what's going on with Q? What do I think, you know, is is Tom Hanks and Oprah Winf Winfrey really arrested right now? So um, I haven't given that uh, much attention in the way of talking about it publicly. But uh, believe me, I, <laughs> I have my finger on some pulses of the world. I wouldn't say all pulses of the world, but they're all... There are definitely certain things that I keep tabs on. And you guys know that. So we're here. We're working through it. It sucks. I hope that you didn't run out of food. And go get some if you haven't. A month. A month food supply. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Mr. Civilian X. Uh, this is Adam. You are live on the Morning Banana Show. Good. And Pizza Gate's trending. Yeah. Pizzagate is tre is it trending now? Yeah, along with Oprah? Yes, yeah, uh, it's right below Oprah. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess people are at home right now, so they can uh, have time to sort through this stuff. Whereas we were talking about it, what, two years ago? Yeah, it's funny, but I clicked on it, and the vast majority of the posts are, I guess you would call, anti-Pizzagate, right? Little do they know, they're all using the hashtag and just helping it trend, so thank you. Yeah, exactly. So and, the, but, then, but then they're associating with the QAnon folks as well, Steve, so now we have the dilemma here. Yeah, there's so much that we could talk about, and I really do appreciate you coming on the show, especially at a relatively short notice, and um, I felt like uh, it would be a good idea to get our thoughts of, as of this moment on record, because it seems like when I watch some of my old videos, and when I, it seems like when I watch some of your old things, we seem to be like unintentionally predicting the future so I would I just feel like people uh, people should uh, have a record of the things we were talking about at least to reflect on <laughs> later but uh, I think we were talking about this last night on the phone that uh, we're at, I think 
you're at this point of life right now where you were saying that you don't really like being told that, uh, you know, man, you were right. You were right. And I'm, I've been at that point for a while myself. But, um, yeah, there's so much we could talk about. Uh, but uh, where where do you want to start? Because there's a bunch of topics that I would like to hit, but uh, where would you like to start? Um, I, I will, you know, hey, who knows. But I think, I think the main thing I would like just to get out is to kind of calm and cool the fear factor at the moment. Um, for me, one of the biggest things is just seeing people in distress. And these are very stressful times, I get that. However, this is not the end of the world. This is nowhere close to the end of the world. Um, and what I mentioned to you last night, although the, the future is dark and bleak, you know, this isn't it, but uh, understand, everybody, you're not going to get a warning. This is your warning, you're, but you're not going to get a warning when it really happens. So That's a really good you're point. Not, you're not going to have the opportunity or the time to panic. That's like the revolution will not be televised. It's a really good point that uh, people kind of overlook, right? They think that uh, you're going to have a slow drip or a slow warning. Okay, now is the time to panic. Your government was really not uh, there to uh, help you and support you. You know, Uncle Sam isn't really going to come to your house and uh, give you groceries. Like, there's not going to be a warning like that. It's just going to be like a, a switch turned off, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's my personal opinion. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. This is just a huge test. You know, this is one of the biggest witness tests they've done so far. So they're, they're basically just seeing who's going to comply. And, uh, as you, of course, I don't know about every area in the United States, but I can tell you for the most part from what I know, and particularly where I'm at, I'm in the South, okay? Uh, nothing has changed here whatsoever. And I'm going to tell you why that's not, had nothing's changed, because we all have ar 15 Nothing's going to change here because we will mow them down, and they know it. I noticed uh, that there's uh, allegedly 500 cases of this coronavirus in Texas, but uh, I haven't heard anything about uh, martial law coming to Texas and uh, police on the streets, and it kind of made me think about what we were talking about last night, where if you overlaid a map of liberal states over the map of the coronavirus cases in the United States, you probably wouldn't be shocked to see that most of the coronavirus cases happen to transpose pretty nicely over liberal states. Right, and where they're shutting things down and stepping across that line. You know, as I said, it's not happening here at all whatsoever. Only thing that's happening here, school children are already on spring break. Right, same here. And this spring break about a week is what they're saying here, right? So other than that, there's absolutely nothing going on here at all. Everything's completely normal. Will that change? Hey, possibility. But I don't see that changing because they're already changing their tune in the news, telling that, you know, they've already started the first vaccine trials and all of this, okay? So, you know, I, I believe this is going to be dying down in a month or two. Now, in the meantime, sure, people are going to be out of work. There's going to be a lot of uh, stressful situations, like I said, but I just personally don't believe this is the end. The banks aren't going to collapse. The stock market isn't going to collapse. As a matter of fact, there's going to be a lot of money to be made coming out of this. Yeah. About two weeks gas ago... Gas is super cheap. You know, when gas oh, is ten dollars or there's no gas and the internet goes out, that's the time to panic. Uh, and besides, what are you going to do? What, what, what is panicking at this point going to do anyways? You're, you're probably stuck as it is. So there's really no point to be stressed out about this. I would say other than if you're out of work at the moment, yes, your bills are going to be super tight. I get that. Millions of people. And let me, and let me make this prediction. All this talk about this whole new stimulus package and they're going to be sending Americans a check, you might as well just uh, wash that down the toilet. They're not sending nobody a check. <clears throat> yeah, there's a headline on CNBC. Trump seeks stimulus package potentially worth more than $1 trillion, including direct payments to Americans. So he's pulling a chapter out of Andrew Yang's or uh, or Bernie Sanders' platform where we're going to get... Uh, UBI, Universal Basic Income, to all Americans uh, starting at about $1,000 a month. So um, what's your take on that? You think that'll ever happen? I don't believe so. I mean, not, not, not because of this coronavirus thing that's going on, no. I mean, and you look at the key word, seek then potential. You know? Yeah. If it was going to happen, I mean, it would already be an executive order or something like that. Who knows? I mean, this, it would already be in motion and be moving. Now, and another thing would be perhaps, you know, that uh, they may send out some kind of checks like after the tax season or something, right?
night, you know. Uh, but but not in a way that I think people are probably thinking. First of all, what in the hell is a thousand dollars going to do? You know, it reminds me of the Ob- Obama phone. Do you remember the Obama phone? Oh, absolutely. Sure. <laughs> people absolutely. people were so hyped up know, about that. We had an extensive conversation last night, but um, yeah. I, let me say this in the best words I can. When you have many, many people, millions of people in this country particularly that are on food stamps, that get welfare, they get free education, they're getting everything free from the government, you have a whole group of people in our, basically a whole country that will never stand up for their rights. No. Why would they? No. They're getting everything for free, right? You know, so... Right, and where, where are those... Uh those majority of people in, in the southern, are they in the southern United States or are they uh, also uh, in these mostly liberal states? Where are, where are the, the majority of these people that are dependent on the government? I mean, honestly, I think they're everywhere. I don't, I don't think it, 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 at this point it's not even a matter of race or location. You have so many people feeding off the government, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Everybody, so I mean, I even know people, personal people, that I feel like that do not deserve anything for free. They can, they can go out and work and have, as a matter of fact, some of them have jobs and work, yet they still take these handouts from the government. These are people I've known for years, and I've tried to wake them up to certain things, yet they still take these handouts from the government. So, I mean, yeah, we, you know, it, it, we're just seeing it now proving people will simply sit at home, watch their television, and wait for things to blow over. This is the litmus test. They know. Yeah. Now, what's coming? Who knows? It's a pretty fluid situation. There's a lot we could talk about. I got about three minutes left on my uh, camera before it shuts down uh, in recording. So, one thing that I would like to talk about is just your opinion of where do you think it started, or how do you think this whole coronavirus situation started? I mean, that's difficult. I don't know. I know that I peaked it up first. It just happened to hit the internet and saw the the. I think it was at the end of January, I, I, and it just it just reminded me of the H1N1 thing, you know. So I knew immediately that if it wasn't a complete hoax, at least it, it definitely was not what they were saying that it was. So, um, you know, there's ideals that obviously Hillary Clinton and Soros released this to get Trump out of office. Well, we could just start there. That's the most ludicrous ideal ever, you know. Right. But I'm under the oppression at least here in the United States, there's no one infected with this so-called coronavirus. There's not a disease being spread. And if, if anything, if they're testing anybody and it's coming back positive, it could be one of hundreds or even thousands of different strains of some kind of cold, and this test tests positive for it. So this whole idea of this new coronavirus being spread, I do not believe it uh, wholeheartedly at all. Wow. Now, in other places of the world, I can't say. I mean, look, they're, they're making outrageous claims, like even in Italy, you know, but yeah. most people in Italy are locked down. How do they know there's thousands of these people that have supposedly died from this? I just don't believe any of it, to be quite honest. Yeah, Israel was just shut down as as of uh, last night, apparently. Yeah, no, that was funny. The post she had said, that, well, there goes that theory about the Jews. I went, to, I went to bed laughing about that. I told Desiree, because she was asleep by the time uh, you and I got off the phone. And uh, she said, you know, what do you think is so funny? And I said, oh, <laughs> I, I made a tweet about, there goes my theory about it being the Jews. She goes, Adam, you're going to have people from Twitter come to our house now. <laughs> yeah, I think people forget, though. I mean, you know, the, the actual just regular citizens of Israel, for instance, they are no different than us. No. Israel is not for the Jews, so to speak. I, uh, I've said this many times. That's that's such the the, the, easy, the easy fall guy. That's the black sheep, you know. So, so uh, in the last uh, couple minutes we have here before this, uh, I'll let I'll let my one camera that's recording for YouTube just shut off, and then we can continue live streaming if you'd like. But um, before this uh, camera that I'm recording for YouTube uh, shuts off. Um, your final thoughts about uh, Q and on, because I've, I've heard so many different things, and I'm sure you have too. This is all part of the plan. Mass arrests are coming. The CEOs aren't stepping down. They're being arrested. Tom Hanks isn't in quarantine. He's in a jail cell. He's been arrested for sex trafficking and pedophilia. Oprah this morning is having to respond to uh, Twitter uh, trending hashtags about her being arrested. You know, what, what's your thoughts on that? Q is going to save us and trust the plan, right? typewriter, you know, get the hell out of here, but, I mean, I've been saying since day one, the QA non-stuff is garbage, I know more about it than some of the hardcore followers do, and I've been posting stuff trying to prove to them that in the beginning, this supposed person was making, you know, uh, absolute statements, and when 
when none of those things came true, that's when the riddles began, you know. So yeah. It, and at first, and it could have been just some fat slob in the basement, but I think at some point that changed over and it has become just a huge psyop. I think when anybody makes uh, definitive statements, and I'm really cautious uh, of myself doing that, I know you are as well because we're relatively intelligent guys, but uh, I can remember, for instance, when uh, David Wilcock from Divine Cosmos and his buddy Corey Good, who were uh, pushing this uh, alien agenda, basically, they, they were saying, um, you know, the pre- this is in 2016, President Trump, or, or Donald Trump will never be elected as president. He'll be stabbed on Inauguration Day before that ever happens. And I can remember reading that in 2016 uh, and being like, you guys, you guys better watch it. You, you don't make definitive predictions like that, even if and it's more revealing than anything, because when it didn't happen, it made me lose all faith, credibility, if I didn't already had, had, hadn't already lost all faith and credibility in guys like David Wilcock. That sealed the deal for me. And uh, as being a flat earther, I mean, I was already kind of over the um, his is uh, pushing the the ball earth and the uh, alien agenda. But that was the the final the predictions that people tend to make uh, when they do absolute predictions or the or when the Q is making absolute predictions and then they don't come true. How do they still have people who listen to them? I don't know. Yeah, and uh, well, there again, as I said, and you know, I've had arguments with people on Twitter that in the, in the once you prove this to them, that there were these definitive statements early on, guess what? They don't respond back, you know. They yeah. shut down, they, and, they, and hey, they're going to believe what they want to believe, and we, it, it's quite, quite, it, it's under, understandable. We're not going to reach everybody, and nor do do I want to personally, but, yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, I hate to say it, but at this point, if you're a QA non-hardcore believer, there's no hope for you. There's, I can't help you, that's for sure. Believe what you want to believe. What's going to happen, though, in a few years when Trump is out of office, regardless, right? There's going to be a new president. People not realize this. There's going to be this. The show's going to go on. This is not even nowhere close to the end of this saga. So, uh, in closing for the uh, YouTube video, is there anything you'd like to say or uh, anywhere people can follow you? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty much just on Twitter at this point, so at Book of Neptune, and then obviously Civilian X on YouTube. I haven't put many videos on YouTube lately. I just haven't had the energy, so. Okay, everybody, I'm going to shut down this uh, YouTube stream, so follow me on Twitter at adamjosh.com, and uh, if you'd like to continue on uh, to see the remainder of this conversation, you're going to have to find the links on my website or on Twitter to the Periscope live stream that I did, because my camera can only uh, record about 23, 24 minutes of video, and we're at that point already. So take care, everybody, and I'm going to continue on talking to my friend, Bookish Neptune, on the live stream. Bye-bye.